So, welcome to today's video. We're going to dye our hair. Even before school starts. Read the instructions. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I promised the girls that they could dye their hair, but first they had to have a, a shower last night and wash their hair. Um, yeah, it's just temporary dye, so don't get excited. Mm -hmm. Two packages open. Each package comes with a hair color and a comb. Yes, I'm on the bottom of my hair. So, so just the bottom? Tips. Yeah, just the bottom up to here. And you're supposed to, after you do it, comb it. Oh, I like this comb. Dad will be happy with these. Sophia wants to show you what she's been working on while we do our reading. So this is her drawing folder. And inside she has drawn, what is that? A lake. Uh, a, this sheep. is what? Sheep. A sheep. Wait, I'll grab you mine. And a foal. A, foal. a dog. And a dog. My first ever miniature pony. Her first ever miniature pony. I tried hard. Yeah, that was a hard one for her. A squirrel. A squirrel. A butterfly. A butterfly. Which I didn't finish. And a ladybug. a ladybug. So she's been working on that in the last week. And I've only done two this year. All the rest are from last year. Oh, and you use that folder instead of your... That's my art folder. That's your art folder instead of your unicorn folder? Yep. All right, let's show it. Okay. So I'll start with my least favorite then go to my favorite okay of the ones that i did this year so first of all we have this one so this year gabby drew an arabian yeah that is so nice i love thicker horses like that that is so nice and what else did she and draw then uh -oh. i drew this one and then she just drew this one yesterday or the day before uh this was the first one that i did actually. oh this is her favorite one that she did so she drew this one yeah. as well what kind of it's horse is this? It's a show storm. It's a show storm? Yeah, yeah see the braids? Yeah. Up. Amazing. Good job, Gabby. All right, so the dye job did not work out awesome. It's basically like putting a cream conditioner in your hair and leaving. It basically looks like, feels like straw. Very little color. It just kind of looks like gray. Except Except for at the bottom, cause like yeah, can you guys see purple? Mine. It's white at the bottom, like yeah. my hair is white. It only works for thin white hair. Yeah, and yeah, cool it works better. And it basically left their hair in such a horrible texture. Like this is just gonna knot up. It's like straw. It's like absolute straw. Sophie wet hers, and actually, it's like conditioner. Once you wet it, it's like look, it's like I'm gonna wet it more. yeah, rinse it right out. The girls had a shower last night and washed their hair. And now they're going to have to have a shower tonight and wash their hair again because it just got such a mess. Yeah, it's horrible. From don't, that stuff, don't, don't ever buy that it. stuff. I'm saving the bottoms. I like yeah, the she bottoms. likes the tips. I, I might have saved it. You might have saved it? A little bit. You think washing it made it better? Yeah. Look at it. It's like pure soap inside your hair. You're supposed to just put it on and leave it. And it rinses out. But yeah, what a mess. See, if you want to dye your hair during the day uh, when you homeschool, you can like finish what you're working on right now, rinse it out, and still finish school. Like you can take your recess, their recess break today was fixing their dyed hair. I didn't show you guys in yesterday's video, but um, this is another half pad that Sam bought for Gabby. You're asking probably why did he order all these for Gabby and I have actually no idea. Yeah, Storm had to have sheepskin, so uh, Sam went crazy when he ordered a bunch of sheepskin stuff. 
Um, this is a half pad that he ended up buying her. He bought her red, um, and the sheepskin on this is really nice. You should have bought me white too because red. Um, we actually found out that sheepskin half pads were actually made to go on top of a saddle pad, and sheepskin will actually whisk the sweat out of the saddle pad and up toward the sheepskin. So even if it's on top of the saddle pad, um, a storm she'll be able to wear a regular saddle pad and a sheepskin half pad. So that's why he bought this to go on top of regular saddle pads so that she could actually use all of her saddle pads because she likes to change colors. Um, so this is the one that he bought. I think he ordered all of these on Amazon and um, I think I would have preferred a white one, but he bought her red. I want and red and white. She wants red and white. You could go with any color of saddle pad, but red, you could go with a certain color. Of yeah, so anyway, she'll be able to use her red saddle pads and whatever saddle pads, she'll just have a, a red half pad on top of it. So Stella has everything that she needs right now. She doesn't need a sheepskin half pad. Doesn't need a sheepskin anything, but as she needs stuff, she'll be getting it. I know some of you guys are gonna say, what? Why did you order so much stuff for Gabby? And honestly, I don't even know why he ordered all that stuff. He sometimes goes off half cocked and just order stuff without talking about it with us. Here, I always plan to teach my kids how to crochet or, and or knit. And I ended up getting all these crochet hooks at a yard sale on the weekend. So uh, that's one thing that we're gonna do. We're, uh, this term, is going to be at least until Christmas is going to all be about sewing so we're going to be learning sewing Oops. this term how to sew but eventually we'll be using those things I still can't hear all I heard was Gabby say I'll get it <laughs> mail came we're doing this we're doing this let's do it uh, no, we got to save it for another right day. Now. No, because we have to we go to the barn. We have munch pack. All right, maybe we'll do it at the barn. Okay, so if you guys don't With know. the horses. Yeah. So on our channel, we are sponsored by Tri Treats, which I love. And actually, I want to do this when we do geography because I want to do a Tri Treats geography edition. Yeah, they're like, I'm so hungry. Let me eat the treats. Okay, we are at the barn for our daily dose of horses. Um, uh, people are saying Sophie's always eating junk food. How many times have you guys seen a Sophie walking around eating a carrot? A lot of times because we do a lot of vegetables in our family. Smoothies, carrots, raw vegetables. They don't like cooked vegetables. All right, the girls are gonna go down to the barn to get our babies and bring them up. And I'm gonna answer a bunch of questions and address a bunch of things that you guys have been I'm um, talking about on our channel that I always forget to vlog about, but I have a little list in my mind. Hopefully I don't forget them. I'm going to talk about them. Explain it all. If Stella's in the field, then she's going to come. Yeah, she is going to come. Okay, go. But don't mind our hair because we tried to dye it. Our hair, their hair was perfect this morning. And then we dyed it and yeah, that happened. So, all right. Bye. Bye. Some of you guys are saying that Gabby really needs to do dressage. All of us, in fact, should do dressage. And absolutely, um, Gabby has done a few dressage lessons in the past. This winter, as time goes on, we will definitely do more dressage lessons because all horses um, should have a dressage foundation. That's what we've been taught, and that's what I believe. Um, yeah, for sure. We definitely need more dressage lessons. As far as going to a dressage clinic... We are dying to go to a clinic, like absolutely dying. We cannot wait to go to a clinic. But first we have to find a clinic and we live in a really rural area where there's nothing. Like there's no, there's nothing here. There's no, we're just like in the dead of nowhere. So um, we have to find a clinic and then it has to be geared towards kids because we have kid riders. So those are make it a little bit difficult, but if we can find one, then we are gonna go to any kind of clinics that we can go to. Storm Saddle. Okay, so this is a bit of a, a, bit of a situation. Basically, when we bought Storm, we also bought his saddle because it fit him and it was great. He already had a saddle, we just bought it, done. And then he came here and instantly he gained weight. And then he got those spots on his back, those pressure kind of spots. Some people like our vet think that they're from uh, the sweat glands. But for me, it was just weird that he, that they grew along his spine exactly where the saddle um, fit. And the saddle fit had changed because he gained weight. And then recently he changed his shape. He got more fit on top and he lost a little bit of weight because he's working out more and doing more and he's in good shape and 
he's a little leaner and the saddle fits completely differently again. The bumps went away and now the saddle's kind of big. So since we've had him, the, the saddle fit has fit him three different, different ways. So I don't want to buy a saddle until we have it fitted professionally. We have one saddle fitter, fitter in this area and I read reviews and apparently it's really hard to get a really good saddle fitter. Yeah, so that's where we're at. We're at a place where there's not a lot around us. We don't have a lot of choices. Um, it's gonna happen. We, I wanna buy him a new saddle. If I was buying him a new saddle already, I would have had to have changed it three times. So, I don't know. I don't know where we are in this journey of buying a saddle, but we are buying him a saddle. We are gonna get a saddle that fits Gabby, that fits Storm. We're just not there yet. We just need to figure out the whole process. Yeah, it's gonna happen, you guys. I just need a little bit of time to figure out a few details, and then Gabby will definitely have it. But in the meantime, she now has a half pad to go underneath the saddle, so hopefully that will make some kind of change, and we'll see if that works. But um, yeah, definitely getting a new saddle. I just need to figure or iron out the details. Stella's sore back. In yesterday's video, I touched Stella, and she bolted away from me and right away I was like oh my gosh is she sore does she have like a sore back what you guys didn't see later was us laying on her back and touching everywhere on her back and there was no pain in her back she literally was completely fine there was no problem with her back and she's on pain medication so the pain medication would take away any kind of pain or at least taking the edge off like she really jumped um also the chiropractor has been here just recently and Stella passes the chiropractor every single time with a flying color with not even a hint of being back for and absolutely things can change but I mean it was just so recently that she was here and like I said I did spook her she had her head down she was eating and I put my hand in there and she did that and all those things together make me think that um yeah she does not have pain and like I said after uh we were all squishing on her back and laying on her back and yeah, there was no, not even a flinch of pain. Right, you guys are here, and guess what? You are not getting ridden today. You are getting exercised, but we're just gonna play around and have fun in the arena. She was fast. She was fast today? Yeah. Stella, you were fast today? Big oh, yeah. surprise. Um, one of the best purchases we've ever bought was we bought Gabby, got these for Easter, these grooming gloves. Right. Yeah, so what ends up happening is that we always, we're getting another pair of these. Storm's the old owner had them. Yeah. And when he was shedding. Yeah, it was good, it was huh? so helpful. I really like to use them because I love grooming. So the reason I love them is not just because you can brush her and, and all the hair comes out. I don't know if you guys can see it flying. Um, can I see it but thing? because if you have both of them on, you can actually come down here and rub her legs like this on both sides and get rid of all of it. Like it's because you're just using your hands instead of oh, a curry I comb. A I love it. Sheds his legs off too. Yeah, do all the way down to his feet. We should paint their feet after too. Before um, his tail used to have like no hair here. Yeah, he Not rubbed it hair. off. If you guys remember, he rubbed because, all the hair uh, off there. Because he had dry flaky skin. Yeah. And coconut oil helps get rid of that. I yeah. did not know that before I put it on. Yeah, so Gabby was putting coconut oil on his tail and it and moisturized him. And conditioner stuff, which yeah. actually helps it grow. Like what it. do you guys think? Do you think his tail looks thicker? Hold it out. No. It's definitely thicker than the last you time. You think it is? Yeah. Since we got him? Like this part. Yeah. See? Yeah. I don't know. I like his tail. You even can though also it's thin. Use these there are benefits to thick hair and benefits to thin hair. I really like thick hair on horses though. Do up that halter. Me and five million other people are like, do it up now. Mm. Now, Gabby, because honestly, even though he is an amazing horse, he could spook at any I'm time. I'm to take it off during his bridal path and how he spooks. I don't care. No. Anything could happen. Imagine what happened at horse camp. The little pigs got loose and came running in here. And Tex went crazy. Oh no, Storm Shelter wasn't done too. He just was like, what the heck is that with his ears like this? Okay. He never tried to spook you. Before. Okay, but still, I want it always it was like, better to be safe than sorry, even no. though we know he's a good horse. No, he was like this. What the heck is that? Mom, help me. Okay, but we're gonna. And Tex was like, oh God, the cross ties are up there. He ended up 
like his head was right here. Yeah. Yeah, but we are a better safe than sorry family. Today's riding is all about spending time with our horse. Oh, slow her down. I don't like her to go too fast, you guys. I like freak out. I just don't want her to get hurt. But look at, she looks so different. Like, usually in the camera, she looks so much thinner. But even in real life, she looks thinner. And something you guys don't know about Stella, but she is back in the mare field because she's starting to get depressed. She's starting to feel really sad because she really is about her friends because she doesn't recognize us yet as her partner. You send chills down my spine Said I'm not worthy of your love well, this is definitely goodbye Oh, it was fun of you around Looking in the rearview mirror My decisions may be clearer Yay, <laughs> good girl! You say I'll never find somebody like you Find somebody like you Sophie, you're getting her to follow you without a carrot. That's amazing. And look, Stella will go right over the poles. Remember, Sabrina, she would never have gone over those poles. kicked it she, she knows oh and what's happening over in this corner it's like I'm at my own little circus <laughs> Likes the ball. She actually is kicking it with her leg on purpose. No. 
And she's actually pushing the ball with her nose. Well, it happened once. Okay, well, it happened once. We've never done horsemanship club with Stella, but we're gonna be doing it this, this fall and winter. All right, Gabby is working on getting Storm to bow. Clearly he's done it before. See if he'll do it again. I have a carrot. Do it without the carrot. You sent chills down my spine. Said I'm not worthy of your love. Well, this is definitely goodbye. Oh, it was fun that you were All right, you guys, we just did the weight test on Stella. The last time we had her in the arena with the ball, we could not put the ball underneath her belly. If it fits, she's thinner. Oh, good girl. Like before you couldn't even, it, it didn't even, it hit her side. Good girl, yay. Her tail is just a swinging. She is such, she is such a good brain, this horse. Okay, let's go, chop chop, time to go home. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.